Hey, it's Luke Miller here from truththeory.com and potentialforchange.com. Just want to say a big mess. Thank you for coming along to watch this video. In a moment, I'm going to be talking about uh, spiritual narcissism and narcissism in general and like just kind of how uh, um, a lot of people seem to be in positions of power through um, their language over their actual intentions and stuff. But before I do that... I just wanted to say, whoop, 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 we just hit a million likes on truththeory.com, which is pretty incredible. Um, it's hard to even comprehend them kind of numbers, but, you know, um, that's what it is. It's pretty amazing, and, uh, you know, it's a lot of people who have been reached and stuff, so um, really exciting. Um, yeah, so, ah, um, oh, and I just shot this video a minute ago. This is the other thing I'd say. I shot this video a minute ago, like I was like six minutes in, and I was like, yeah, really kind of making good points because sometimes you shoot these videos and they don't really work out and it's like I was really like in the flow and then my battery died on my other device and I have to start again and do it again so let's hope it all runs smoothly this time <laughs> anyway spiritual narcissism and narcissism in general um so some of the examples that I've seen recently is um, one in sp specifically is like within like the activism community like I said uh, I kind of feel like the um there's a a community of people if we could actually put uh differences aside our egos aside and actually just get together and stand up for equality not um just your specific cause but you know a greater cause than your your cause um which ultimately can always come down to those in power you know small group of people who own everything who are oppressing the rest of the world, you know, like if we could actually um, put our differences aside and go, okay, this is the common problem that's causing all of our problems, let's um, stand up for equality against these groups, then we could actually create the change that's needed. I, I see a lot of uh, um, people petitioning MPs, and, it's kind of, and yes, you know, uh, MPs in the UK, are like uh, Congress or whatever in, in America, um, and yes, these things, they do work, you know, but it's, it's very slow and it's just like putting a, a plaster over a, over a severed artery. It's it, event, like, you know, it's just going to keep bleeding, but it might slow it down a little bit. Um, but some of the problems that I've seen is um, within these com communities, people who are on the same fight for the same cause are... <clears throat> looking to be patted on the back and looking I mean, don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with having recognition for for your work and stuff but i've seen some pe some really dedicated people and they don't care about recognition they care about what the what their cause is and you know it it feels like people rise to the top of these groups who are um are maybe not pure in their intentions and it c creates divide and often um you know, people wanting to do it their way and, you know, let's do it my way and why do you want to do it this way? And it's like people with the same cause can't even agree. How how can you get all the groups together? So that's kind of one example that I've seen there seems to be um, a bit of a divide in, which is, is a shame because with the right people in the right place and the right intentions, you know, the the sky's the limit or the universe is the limit for what we could actually achieve. Um... The second um, example I've seen a lot of recently is within the kind of like sp spiritual community, you know, like uh, um, whatever that means, you know, like, uh, um, but there's, uh, there seems to be a lot of people with big massive followings with lots of, uh, um, you know, uh, qualifications and stuff that um, and like very good at articulating, very good at getting their point across, very good at like speaking, and they know a lot of stuff, um, but they've got lost in the language of, of everything, you know, and uh, ultimately, um, when it comes to embodying what they're saying, you can tell that they're very closed off, and, um, you know, not operating from their hearts, because uh, ultimately, when we operate from our hearts, we... Uh, we want the best for ourselves and for everyone around us, you know. So, like, it's kind of one un, un, uh, like um, unified kind of thing. But um, I think for some people it's very um, beneficial that this capitalist kind of structure stays in place so that um, they can continue to make lots of money 
and people can continue to follow in in desperation because the the, the problem is with with a teacher um <clears throat> not all the time i mean sometimes you can learn from people's words but I feel like when someone's intentions are not there and someone's energy is not there, um, it can often breed more desperation. So someone might have... So there could be two people, right? One person doesn't have pure intentions, one person does, and those uh, without the pure intentions can teach the same material as the other person and um, it won't be as effective because, you know, I think I believe that words have an energetic imprint and that the person who who shares them with you... um, it matters, you know, where it's coming from. So I feel like this is something that is being addressed. I've noticed recently people are addressing it, but I feel like it's, uh, you know, needs to have the light shine on it because if you understand the language of, like, from the heart and, and emotions and, and love, there's no lying in that. You can't, you cannot lie. It's impossible to lie. The, the spoken word is the is the um, only way you can you can lie but once you understand energetic language you, you you just can't you know and you and you can see through this and i think once people understand this language a little bit more and start to learn it a little bit more then it will be impossible for these people to continue to rise to the top and to continue to be worshipped when in fact they um their intentions are not as as pure as uh, some people who are maybe less well known or some people who are um you know um yeah, I don't know, like, just, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, and I suppose the the last example of this that I wanted to share is that of um, narcissism in positions of power, like, in government. Like, if we really had a choice, which we do, by the way, um, would we really want to vote for those who, who are here now? Like, it's, it's almost like a uh, projection of the... Of it's like the mirror of uh, like collective behaviour and consciousness being reflected upon us. You know, you look at like Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton and all these people, and then you look at someone like Bernie Sanders, who genuinely seems to care and seems to want to make a change. Just my my viewpoint. I, I, I'm not claiming to have any absolute truth in that, but you see someone like that, and then it's like they get. Um, hounded by the media and the same thing happened with like Jeremy Corbyn like they 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 get shut down and they get um you know people who don't seem to hold them narcissistic traits they get um made out to be weak or you know incompetent or unable like or not understand you know like how can they want to get rid of uh nuclear weapons blah 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 all this kind of stuff you know it's like well you know it hasn't worked so thus far has it you know with uh the old system so maybe it's about time that we get get some new new kind of different types of people into these positions i mean i'm not advocating government and stuff because <clears throat> personally i don't think that um the system that we have works but i do believe that a better person in them positions of power could at least start to initiate some kind of change um so yes yeah, it's, it's, it seems to be that people in um, who have these characteristics seem to rise but we as the people if we shine the light on these and actually start to understand um, narcissism um, you know and the psychopathy that happens within these circles if you can, you can learn to actually spot this um, because it's, it's it's all in language that's that's the problem Pe- people um, you can't you can't fake the energy, you know, so like, um, and the specific words that people in these kind of positions say, you can learn, you can, people can be taught to spot these things. And if we can be taught to spot these things, then we can stop it from happening in the future. And we can like be less inclined to be run by self-centered psychopathic human beings that are, are out for their own agenda, you know? Um, so yeah, that's it really for this video i just wanted to um address something and i'm going to try and address it as much as possible and try and share this as much as possible because the sooner we can shine the light on this kind of stuff the the sooner it, the, the the less it can happen and the easier we can kind of move forward as uh you know um and those who wish to lead um can be those who actually give a shit about people um yeah 
So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I've got some links below um, that you can check out some of my work, some of the stuff I'm doing, um, some of the services I offer um, that I've going on. Should be below this video, depending on where you're watching it from. Maybe in the comments uh, um, section, or you know, maybe there'll be a link to to something. I should know, right? I'm going to put it there, but <laughs> I haven't worked it out yet. Um, anyway, much love to you. Um, wishing you all the best. And I will speak to you all very, very soon. Cheers.